Hello everybody, my name is Divya and today we are here and we have the honor to speak with Dean Dillon. Um, he's going to share all his past experiences with us and tell us how to get a promotion. So hello Dr. Dillon, how are you? Hi Divya, very good, thank you. What were your career goals when you first got here? I came here to get my graduate degree in mechanical engineering. Mm -hmm. uh, I was working in the petrochemical industry in India for mm -hmm. eight years uh, before I came back to school. Mm -hmm. uh, so I was not a typical graduate student. I was married, I had a mm -hmm. two-year-old son. Yeah. Hard work is a given, as, as all of you know. I, I don't think that anybody can be a successful leader working mm -hmm. 40 hours a week. I mean, there is no, there are no 40-hour jobs. People <laughs> ask me about work-life balance, and I say, well, you balance it. <laughs> so so it, it's, it's like you have constraints of a, a job, a, a opportunity, mm -hmm. and in leadership there are no easy ways, you know, no easy times that you can say, well, okay, I'm going to be able to take this off and do this. Mm -hmm. Leadership is a 24-7 job. <laughs> so I'm, I'm uh, telling all, all this to all of you because I'm saying join the club, okay, when you're going to be coming in. <laughs> That's what you're going to be doing. That's what people are going to expect from you. What are your expectations from your employees? Sure, I mean, I, I think the number one is commitment. Commitment uh, to your job, to your, uh, you know, the company that you're working for, the university that you're working for. You have to give 100% every time you show up. I think risk taking is another thing. Mm -hmm. uh, I think that you know I want people to take risks. A lot of people are afraid of failure, mm -hmm. but remember, failure is what makes us. Mm -hmm. What are some tips you would give to someone who's looking to try and get a promotion? Promotions don't happen until your bosses all sit down at a table like this and they say, "So." Who do you think should be promoted? Who do you think should get the next opportunity? And if your name doesn't come up, you just lost it, okay? You're not gonna say, I want to be promoted, okay? It's gonna be someone else who's gonna sit on a table and they're gonna say, who should get this opportunity? And in my first job, uh, you know, I showed up there thinking that I'm gonna be this big boss, right? Mm -hmm. uh, and then as I show up there, they say, okay, so welcome, and you're part of the graduate engineering training uh, class. And so, by the way, for the first month and a half, you're going to work with the janitorial staff during shifts, okay? Sure. And I said, what is this? And, 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 and the most important lesson I learned from that is that you have to understand the lives of others. You've got to be able to relate to the people that are going to work for you. Mm -hmm. So if you cannot relate to people, then you know you really don't have the quality to be promoted so those are the types of things that i look at and you know there's no job that i won't do uh -huh. today and there's no job that i expect somebody to come back and say well this is not in my job description okay there is no job description it's just like whatever work there is it's got to be done okay. either you do it or i do it <laughs> <laughs> great. great so thank you very much